just start now. You know, understanding how we are passengers, observing and witnessing this life. We are passengers in a vehicle, the body is rented, it is not ours. It is something we are here to witness, to watch this one precious life of this body, this vehicle. Yes, the witnesser, the passenger within the vehicle, has an opportunity to reincarnate life after life in many different forms, not just human. But this one vehicle, this body that you live in, this precious mm, spaceship as we travel along together through time and space, this is the one chance it has to live its life. And so that signpost of you operating out of integrity with your design, bitterness, anger, disappointment, frustration, those are big red stop signs that are showing you you're living out of integrity with what your design is here for. You don't have access to your spirit because these are dualities, the this and the that of your vehicle, the generality of the thematic of what is going to happen when you don't live according to your own nature. Those frequencies of not feeling like you're being seen, valued, appreciated, resentment, i.e. bitterness for the projector, or the frequency of showing up so freaking frustrated that it's a constant never-ending companion and you get to this deep place of even rage, perhaps, because you are not in alignment, that frequency, and the frequency of anger, this deep, pervasive anger that gets under your skin and it, and it goes, it festers in or explodes out. That anger is showing you this is not the way. That disappointment in life, for those of you who are reflectors, that disappointment in life itself, that deep, 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 pervasive disappointment is not you. None of that is you. Those frequencies are coming from what is consistent about you in the manifester. It is the energy that is here to make an impact in life. That's where the anger is coming from because it's showing you, the body is showing you, it's speaking to you, stop, you're going the wrong way. The projector the, the projector who is here to have the sweetness of success, be able to be contributed to those around them so that they can align to the highest potential for not only themselves, but particularly those that they work with and those that they nurture, those that they care for, those that they advise and guide. That sweetness of success is the spirit, the essence of the spirit that arises inside of you when you have an opportunity to be seen and recognized for what your true gifts are. It's a natural consequence of operating correctly. Just like the peace of being able to inform in order to impact is the natural expression of the spirit of the manifester. And my generator friends, for those of you who are generative in your frequency, and that's most of the planet, 67% of the planet, are generative and they're walking around continually compromising the integrity of their energy resource and not doing what they love not allowing themselves to live the fullest expression of what they were born for, which is to build our world, to do the doing that is satisfying. And that satisfaction is the essence of their spirit alighting the world. That's what you're here for if you're a generator. You cannot compromise the integrity of your vehicle without degradation to the vehicle. And this is why so many people go, well, wait a minute, I thought I was a generator type and I have lots of energy. Everybody's telling me I'm supposed to have all this energy, but I've got a burnt out thyroid and I'm exhausted all the time. What gives? It's because you're not listening to your body. The body is the life. The body knows what's best. The body has its navigation system and these simple signposts. They're not bad or wrong when they show up. They're just like signs, flesh flashing lights, you know, when you're driving down the freeway and you've got these uh, bumps on the side of the road, 
where you have, um, you know, the car start to jitter because you're actually starting to go off into danger zone, frustration, anger, bitterness, disappointment, those are all the bumps on the side of the road. Now, in the beginning of the human design experiment, as a passenger, as a witness to observing this life, you are going to find yourself, if you've been living deeply conditioned and deeply believing the mind inside of your head, i.e. the not self, you're going to find yourself observing bitterness, rage, anger, frustration, disappointment more often than not if you're very deeply conditioned. If that is the case, do not lose hope. Don't worry, it gets better. <laughs> now, for some of us, it's easier than others. And the work of a human design analyst is to help you get in touch with the core of you. And the work of a living your design guide is to guide you through that process that the human design analyst started with you. Now, one of the things that changed as we move forward into 2027 and I became a living your design guide, I wasn't a, an analyst yet. I saw how limiting it was that the requirements to go into guide the living your design program to wake people up was that you had to have a reading first. And I actually invited the, the industry to change that. And what happened was I recognized that so many more people now come into the core of the spiritual program in human design, which is living your design, without necessarily knowing all the details of their design. So they have lots of questions. Well, what about this detail? What about that detail? Don't get lost in the details. In cartography, we're going to dive deeper into the details and remember that we're looking at thematics that are in general and you in your uniqueness is a combination a coalescing of all kinds of energies and the only way the human mind can pick this apart is to look at the details one by one but you are not that you are so much more than what you see on that piece of paper don't get caught up in the details here's what Lavina did in the very beginning of human design looked at that design and went oh my god poor me why me why do I have the design that I have and why does it show up like it is? And it, it was really, really painful because, hello moon. I believed my mind's story because my mind always said, there's something wrong with me. What's wrong with me, says the not self third line that's pessimistic about its process. I have to tell you, there's nothing, utterly nothing wrong with you right here, right now, nothing, no matter what you think, it's nothing. It is nothing. It's simply conditioning. The mind is a beautiful thing. How do we wake up? How do we have passenger consciousness? We witness what is happening in the body and we love it unconditionally, no matter what, no matter what the mind thinks, no matter the story that it's telling you, no matter what. And I'm hopeful that that inspires you a little bit from my path and my observations of what happens in this human design experiment is that people tend to think that they are still seven centered even though they might not even know what that means they still think that they are the thoughts inside of their head and please that is a consequence of what happened when we were seven centered and all of the energy went up to the ashna Okay, you are not that anymore. The Ajna seven centered vehicle, Ajna awareness was focused on controlling its environment, controlling through its thoughts, the Kundalini energy rising up that middle, middle core column to get to, you know, this mind's process and try to escape being in form. Yeah. Ignoring the form, the people who, you know, didn't value being embodied in the form. That's not us. The time is now to be embodied as a spirit consciousness. We are developing our spirit awareness, our unity consciousness, our oneness consciousness, our aspect of us being still a differentiated aspect of the whole but being able to know our emotional intelligence was within that place of the whole, to be comfortable riding around in a vehicle that is not ours. 
It is something that we're witnessing, we're watching. So to let go of control through your mind takes a lot of trust, a lot of guts. It takes a lot of courage to let go of that story you've been telling yourself and you tell everybody else about what's wrong with you or what's wrong with someone else. There's nothing wrong with you.